what is SAP UFI SDK? This was an interview question asked me back in 2017. Interviewer wanted to know what is SAP UFI demo toolkit, but they confused me with this word SDK, which is software development kit. Let's understand. SAP UFI demo toolkit is a place where we can find all the SAP UFI development related resources. There is a step-by-step -step documentation available for app development. Underneath the API reference section, we can find in-depth knowledge about the SAP UFI control overview, properties, events, and methods associated with the control. Underneath the demo app section, we can find the design and coding guideline for SAP Fury development. Demo toolkit. The first link, sapufi.hana.ondemand.com. This is the SAP UFI demo toolkit. This is the landing page of the, of this is also application. So there are different sections like documentation, API references, samples, and there are two more. Let me reduce the screen resolution so you can see all five sections. So the first section is documentation. Here you will find the step-by-step -step documentation for SAP UFI app development. There are there, there is different sources that you, you can read, like what's new in SAP UFI, read me first before start the development and get started, set up tutorial, everything is available. But here is the most important thing that I want to grab your attention to the essentials. Inside essentials, we have, okay, not essentials. Inside get started, we have something called walkthrough. Walkthrough as the step-by-step -step tutorial to create the SAP UFI application. If you are somebody who like to read and like to implement by copy pasting the code, this is the best place where you can learn SAP UFI app development. Apart from walkthrough, there are different things like you can read about data binding and there, there is again a step-by-step -step tutorial for data binding. We are also going to cover the data binding in our course. There is something called work list. There is a step-by-step -step tutorial available for work list app development. And the most important thing is ice cream machine. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial for analytical application development. If you are somebody who like to display data in different uh, form of charts and uh, analytical tiles, so this is a course that you can do to understand about the how to use how to use the donor chart or bar chart to display the data and uh, this is a useful tutorial the ice cream machine this is what you can look look upon and there are different options that you can read about then there is something called api reference where we find all the libraries related information and uh, underneath the API reference, if you can go to sap.m, because we are using the sap.m library, and if you go to any control, like for example, of tile control, you can find out the overview, why we are using this control. Constructor, you can find how to load this control inside the controller, and what are the parameters we can pass. Properties, you will understand what all properties are associated with the control, and you can read about the uses of the properties, like the ground color, badge icon, badge tool tip. Tool tip. Aggregation is uh, something where we can load in inside which control we can load this control. I mean, inside which control we can load the avatar control because there is a structure of parent child and uh, we, you cannot load any control inside any other control. There has to be aggregation between them. Associations, you can find out to what all the uh, things you can apply, uh, what all libraries which are used to get this control inside the view. Events, you can find out what all events we can apply. Like uh, on in HTML, we have on-click event of a button. Similar way here in SAP UFI, we have press event. This is what uh, you can find out that I can apply the press event as a property and I can write the function inside, inside the controller. What all methods you can apply, like attach press, bind detail box. These method details would be available here. Fire press, these methods you can apply in the controller. Sample section is really important because here we can find all the XML code related to the control. Assume if I search with avatar.m, I can find the visual look, how the avatar would look like. And if I click on this uh, icon, I can see the source code that we are going to see in the in, in, in few moments. Demo apps have different demo application available that you can run in the browser and you can understand how these applications are running. If you download, this is the walkthrough and ice cream, what is the final product which is going to be built if you follow the tutorial that you can just see here. And you can also understand what is the design guideline for SAP Fury development by using the source code of these applications. This is tools section. In tools, we have different options like if you want to read about SAP Business Application Studio, if you want to read about SAP Fury tools, if you want to read about SAP Fence Inspector, how to utilize it, the Card Explorer, the Icon Explorer, 
and there are different uses of each each and everything icon explorer is something that we are going to use in this tutorial so now let's start the development <clears throat> 